hey guys what's up and welcome back to another vlog thank you so much for tuning in so if you're new here my name is Megan thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoy um, also while you're at it go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see so you can always be notified when I post new videos so go ahead and hit that notification button as well uh but yeah that's me um go check out some of my other videos and i hope you like them so today is friday june 18th yeah friday june 18th oh yeah i look so oily so oily so sweaty i don't know i guess this is the oil i put on this morning but oh goodness um yeah it's friday it is about 9 23 i just got home maybe 10 minutes ago at the most i have literally been gone all day worked all day since like been at work since like eight or not eight nine and i'm just getting home i had a full day um typically i don't work this long a day oh i used to but ever since i had my surgery i try not to work as long of days but i'm going out of town tomorrow um and so i had people for saturday but i kind of moved them over to today so that's why i um started earlier today instead of like at two o'clock so yeah i'll be going out of town tomorrow um like early <laughs> early morning I have a flight at 5.22. That's when takeoff is 5.22. So I got to be at the airport at like 3.30, 3.45 at the latest. So yes. Yeah. So we are, or I'm headed to um, Destin. So by the time you see this, I may be back or coming back by the end. So yes. Um... So, I don't even know if I'm asleep tonight. I've already packed my bag. Like, I did that the other day. So, my bag is already packed. So, I'm just going to be doing some last minute packing. Like I said, I just got home. Um, I got some items that I'm about to open. I got a package from Fashion Nova. I got this package. And I just got a package from Amazon. So, I just opened that. I've been getting packages like non-stop y'all because i'm still getting ready for my big trip which is coming up in about two weeks and like i said i won't disclose where i'm going until maybe until i'm there i think it's gonna be like until i'm there just know that i will be using a passport i will give you a hint there i will be using my passport for the first time and i'm so excited uh but yeah y'all just have to see what the destination will be when we get there but anyways in the meantime this is just something to kind of get away um just for my sanity and we are like i said i'm going to just i'm just making a quick trip to destin my mom my brother and his girlfriend are already down there um they left thursday they left yesterday and so i was like you know i'm gonna try to come saturday because i couldn't come thursday or today i had clients so i'm just gonna take a one-way trip down there and i'm just gonna ride back with them so yeah that is what i'm doing i'm tired i may get an hour or two of sleep tonight <sighs> so that's all right but i'm about to get the rest of this stuff ready the only other things that i need to get are like my personal items such as like toothbrush toothpaste face wash body wash stuff like that but i'm gonna be using some of that stuff tonight and right before i leave so i'm gonna pack it up but i won't put it into my suitcase until <sighs> until i get ready to leave so yeah so i am about to do that get these clothes off get a shower and kind of chill until the end go through this suitcase because i'm trying not to pack a lot i'm notorious for packing a lot of stuff so i'm gonna make sure i'm packing very light like i said i'm not gonna even be down there long so make sure that and put these packages up and i will catch you guys in a few It is an 
you guys can see me, okay? And hear me, because this music is playing. But, as you can see, I am at the airport. I'm like waiting on my gate right now. It is about 4 or 6 in the morning, <laughs> so it is early. Um, it's 4 or 6, we start boarding at about 4. 47, 449, and takes off at 522. So, oh, yeah, I'm here at the airport. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need to buy some, yeah, I bought some snacks, so I may snack on those. I got some almonds, but I need to find some water. I need to find like a little store, but I don't know if any stores open this early here in this airport. So, I am gonna go see. Like, to be honest, I didn't even know that it was be open this early. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm thinking flights, I know at least like six, but this flight doesn't fly out as early as 522. So, yeah. Um, I only think I only got like, I don't even know if I got any, so I know I'm just laying there for the longest. So I may have gotten maybe 30 minutes of actual sleep, sleep. And I was back up, so yeah. So I don't have too much stuff. I'm just waiting to board and get out here and we'll catch you guys later. Okay guys, I have finally made it to Charlotte, North Carolina. I have never been to Charlotte before, so I am finally here. This airport is so freaking crowded, it's ridiculous. <sighs> so, I have about an hour here. Well, probably not a more hour, probably a little less than an hour. Yeah, it's a little less than an hour. My flight leaves at 9 10, so, and then they're an hour ahead here, so we moved up an hour. But, yeah, I'm just waiting over here. I'm eating like this little chicken wrap right now and some water. I got off the plane hungry and I'm kind of tired, but not too bad. So, yeah, like you can kind of see how freaking crowded it is in here. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But I'm gonna about, to, about to finish eating this sandwich. And hopefully they'll be hopefully they'll be calling us soon so we can start boarding because I'm about ready to just be there. <laughs> Alright y'all can finish eating my sandwich. Uh, okay guys, just an update. <clears throat> my flight has been delayed like twice and they keep pushing the freaking time back. And I'm just so they get irritated. I'm like, oh my god, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen because in Destin there are tropical storms as they say. So I don't know, I guess on that coast it's just like storming. So I guess the plane is just behind. So now I have to wait here another it's saying 11.20 now for the plane to leave. Like, push back a whole other hour. And right now it is 9.43. And I'm just in here waiting. Now I have nothing else to do. I may go walk around the airport, but I'm tired of carrying this stuff. But I do get some Starbucks, so I'm drinking on that. Oh, y'all, <laughs> I am finally out of that airport. <coughs> Excuse me. When I say I will never. And I just, I mean, I know you can't control anything when you're flying or when you air travel because it's just, you have no control. But when I say that was probably one of the most stressful situations I've been in, 
from Memphis to Charlotte was okay. It was smooth. It was on time. Everything like that. It went until I got to Charlotte when everything went haywire. The flight was delayed like 30 minutes to an hour, like hour, hour and a half, almost two hours. The flight was delayed. Kept getting pushed back. <sighs> then we finally get on the plane, get to Fort Destin Fort Walton Airport. The bags, it, it's so it's raining down here, as you can see. It is it's raining. I'm just kind of showing y'all. Look at it. But you know, with Florida weather, it's always raining on and off, on and off, and that's just what it's doing. But it's it's like a tropical storm going on down here, so it's like literally raining from today all the way through next week for the next week and a half so yeah we chose a bad time to come down here i probably should have stayed at home but i wanted to get away from the weekend but when i say like the rain caused so much damage like when we got when we finally landed it took us 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes just sitting on the plane on the runway because they had the ramp was closed because they the workers can't be outside in the rain when it's lightning outside it's i guess it's like procedure they just can't do that it's protocol and i get it so we had to sit there on the plane and wait till they open the ramp and guide the plane to come on in so the plane won't hit nothing so we had to do that and then we get off the plane and then the bags we sit there and literally wait for like 30 45 minutes on the bags because the rain and the lightning they can't be out there so they can't load and unload the planes and when I say there were so many people in that airport, I mean, people were everywhere, everywhere. People were sitting down, every corner, every chair, every tape was packed, was packed with people. Like people were just everywhere. And I guess flights have been delayed, flights have been canceled. It's just, it's just a mess down here trying to get in and out of this area. So... I don't know. I have learned my lesson. I thank God I'm not flying back. I'm riding back with my mom. And I'm in the car. She just ran in uh, to use the restroom. And I think she's going to get her something to eat out of here. I may go over to get Chick-fil-A just for now. <sighs> Until later on. Then later on, I'll, we'll probably go somewhere to get something to eat. But I'm just so happy I'm off that dang plane. And out of that airport. When I say planes already give me anxiety and airports just the whole flying experience gives me anxiety and it's just so crazy because in two weeks i'm going out of the country i'm not even being in the united states so i <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna have to get some medicine I'm going to have to give some sedatives or sedate something to calm me. Because when I say my anxiety is on 10, it is beyond 10. When I go into airports and planes and stuff. And then when it's you fly into a city and it's like storming and you find the turf. Oh, it's just too much. And in two weeks, like I said, I'm going to be flying out of the country. But I'm excited though. I'm really excited. I'm super excited about this destination. So, I'm just glad I'm off this plane. I need something to eat. There it is. Where you gonna put your feet up? Oh, look at my feet. They are so small. Huh? I don't see my foot this way. That don't have that little um, right there. Maybe I should sit on the wall then. Hmm? I should sit and let my legs hang up the wall so the toxins can drain. Okay, let me show you the room. You want me to come? <laughs> there you go. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're not. <laughs> I ain't think about that. Oh, this is cute. Ooh. It's bad. Look at this, y'all. This is the Airbnb. Here. Look how cute this is. So we finally made it. This bed looks comfortable. Yeah, and all the pillows. I had to move them over to the side. 
that came off my hair. My um. Oh, I was just trying to make sure there wasn't no mold or nothing. Mm -mm. It came off the thing. I need this right here on my hair. Nice little closet. Beach is kind of over there. Cute little closet. This is the other room. How cute is this bunk? How cute is this bunker? And this is another bathroom. Like my brother was in here. Does this couch have a let out? Mm hmm. This one do. Oh. I'm childish. I'm childish. I said my stone dash is good passing. Do the rock away. Now lean back. Now lean back. Now lean back. Now lean back. <laughs> Mom, you look crazy. <laughs> UBC sanitizer one. That's cute. See, why not be why not be attracted to stuff like this? A freaking sanitizer one, like what? You may be uh what they call it? Uh, I'm a junkie. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at this color, Cinti. I, I got know. this. That's one. what I was been to say. See, I want. Or to buy stuff pretty. like this. This is, that is pretty. And Tuscan lavender. I got that one at the office. This uh, right. Tuscan and lavender. I use it in the bathroom. Sounds oh, good. I wonder what this. Oh, that smells real good. Hey, dude. What's this other one smell like? I got these, I, I but uh, smell better, I, think. I got the wipes in that. This one? Yeah. You can't buy stuff like that. I can be attracted to stuff like that. Alright. I got some spray. It's crazy that we can kind of find spray now. The camera? I got it from Amazon and the little stand. How much was it? I got this. It was a bundle. So all together it was like $5.60. For the I like the little tin and this will fit perfectly. Y'all, I came in here for one thing. But you know how Target do when you walk up in here. Target gonna show you what you need. And now I'm up here in this travel section. This. this type of stuff always gets me. I'm gonna go. Period. Period. <laughs> Um, are you vlogging me? I'm the crazy sister. Yeah. And then there's RJ. He's my Capricorn brother. We're both like. <laughs> oh, I need to get a chill. I look a mess. Let me fix and my then you're head. a Leo or a Libra? I'm not a Leo. Oh my gosh. I guess no Libra. I knew he was an L or something. I am a Libra, okay. They say Libras are the worst, and then they say no. October that be them J. That October be them. Libras. That be them Gemini's and them uh, them Scorpios and stuff. I click with. Her.
just had one. in the pineapple and that's what you drink. R E C it's recording. I did not end the vlog on Sunday, I think it was, and today is 
Tuesday. Yesterday was just basically traveling back home. Um, actually leaving work right now. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog properly really quick. And kind of <laughs> fill in after that last scene. So the last scene, I think we were, yeah, we were on the jet ski and we were um, leaving off the dock. And it was good. It was a really good time. It was our, me and my brother's first time on a jet ski. And so it was super fun. Like it was, it was really fun. I'll definitely do it again. Um, so we had a little mishap at the end. I did not catch that on camera. And I was a little traumatized after the little mishap. Um, so that's why I didn't film anymore that day. Um, so we were kind of, we were coming back in after our little session, our hour session that we had, we were coming back into the dock and my brother was driving and we came in a little too, not like, I guess a little too quick, I guess. And, um, and we kind of went over on the side of the little dock and it kind of flipped the jet ski. So we kind of flipped off. Woo! These cars are stopping so quick. Um, yeah, so we kind of hit the thing and the jet ski flipped over. Yeah, it just kind of it flipped over and we were in the water. Thank God we had life jackets on. Y'all, like, I never really had a real fear of water until that moment. Even though it was so minor, it wasn't that long a time, you know... We weren't in the middle of the ocean. I mean, we were in the ocean, but we weren't just like out in the middle of the ocean. But we were in the ocean, and thank God we were. It happened where it happened because when they let us out, we were able to go kind of like far. Like there was a designated area, but like you can kind of go kind of far. But we were right kind of by the dock and whatnot. So they kind of jumped in, helped us out. We couldn't get back in the water. Like we couldn't get on the the land on the dock um, we had to climb back on the jet ski and pull it back in um, because they said you would cut yourself if you got out on the dock or whatever so after all of that y'all when I say I was so tired like my body like I guess my body was in shock I was so tired like I'm still trying to recover from that um, from that whole weekend from the plane from layover from everything so it was a lot. It, it was a lot. But like I said, it was super fun. We had a really good time. And I just wanted to kind of come on here and end that vlog. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And uh, that's it. And I guess I will. Well, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow your girl. And stay up to date with me. And also hit that notification bell. And yada, yada, yada. Y'all know all of that jazz. So, yeah. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.